Melissa, how competitive do you expect the AFC North to be this year? I think it's going to be one of the most competitive divisions in the league, honestly. You look, like you said, those numbers right there, you look at especially the Ravens and the Bengals, right? The Bengals obviously feeling a little salty about last season too, coming up as runners up in the Super Bowl. Who wouldn't have a chip on their shoulder, right, coming into this season? I think that those two teams are going to be the ones to have a – eye on in the division i think the browns it remains to be seen obviously their quarterback situation and again like you said the steelers not necessarily a team to sleep on either they're having a quarterback transition as well mitchell trubisky maybe we'll see kenny pickett take a couple snaps here and there i think that we'll figure out very quickly in the first couple games though who is going to be competitive in this in this division and who is not outside of good health and getting a lot of talent back from injuries that they lost last season what do you think is the biggest key for Baltimore if they are going to be the divisional champs in the AFC North well I mean I feel like I sound like a broken record but this team revolves around Lamar Jackson right this offense revolves around Lamar Jackson and I think that how he's going to show his progression in his passing game is going to be a key factor this year I know we said the same thing last year as well but because of all those injuries uh because of his injury rather we did not really get to see that but I think that we're going to see if that hard work in the offseason paid off between him and the wide receivers. Right now, there's four tight ends, uh, five tight ends on the roster right now for the Ravens. How are those guys going to play into the offense as well? Obviously, they went pretty tight end, tight end heavy last season. Um, I think that there are a lot of factors, but especially around that offense. Again, the O-line as well. I forgot to mention them as well. We have a new center this year, Tyler Linderbaum out of the Big Ten out of Iowa, um, and also Ronnie Stanley at left tackle. He is he going to be back? Is he going to be able to actually see some snaps on the field this season? I think that a lot of those factors are going to definitely come into play this season for the Ravens. Melissa, you know that I am very fond of Baltimore and their selections out of the Big Ten the last couple of seasons. Rashad Bateman out of Minnesota, Tyler Linderbaum, I think the steal of the first round of the 2022 NFL draft. So maybe I'll be pulling for the flock a little bit this year as well. 10 to one, Melissa, the price on Baltimore in the AFC championship market, the fifth best odds in the entire conference. As you have been around the team now and starting to talk to some of the guys over the next week as they get ready to report for training camp, is that the level of expectation you think Baltimore will set for itself? An AFC championship or maybe it wasn't the best season? I think that that is probably where they're going to start, right? When you think about it, when you talk about, uh, you know, where the expectations are for these guys, you know, is it AFC Championship? Is it Super Bowl? I mean, I've heard Super Bowl talk, you know, the, those words mm -hmm. mentioned among a couple of the guys. But definitely, I think that is where they're going to start. They're going to think about the division. That is definitely how John Harbaugh thinks. I can tell you that for sure, that he is thinking about the other teams in the division first before we start thinking anything really big picture, like maybe a couple of the other guys on the team are as well.